Hey, Mark. Thanks for participating in this month's Anim Jam, man. Um, we really like your the shot that you have. This really cartoony rig is really cool. Um, someone said it looked like a metal slug tank, and I swear to God, after when they said that, I can get that off my mind. So, yeah, um, I really like this timing, this cartoony kind of animation with the snappy timing and that bounciness. It's really appealing to me, and I really enjoyed it. So let's quickly just take a play playback of it. Yeah, it looks great. Man. I only got a few suggestions. Um, if you wanted to push the shot, maybe to like another, like polish it up for another 5% or 10. Um, so my first note would be this pose in frame 33. Uh, I think if you follow that whole path of action, it makes more sense for this pose to be something like this with a reverse C curve for the neck. Because right now you have it like this way. It doesn't really fit with this pose as well and this pose. I feel like if you had it a reverse C, it would give a better arc and fit actually fit right into what you already have to the poses you already have here. So yeah, I feel like that's a, that's something that uh, makes more sense for this path of, like for this motion. Yeah. And um, another thing is like, I found most that mostly that the set, the settle's good for the most part. But what I notice is everything ends around the same frame. So, to do that, like, I'm not sure if this is like you purposely needed to end, end at the same frame, but I'll actually break it up. So, firstly, because of how flap, flappy this thing is, you have this little flappy thing. <laughs> like, see how much you kind of unflap it, right? Here, I think you can add that same kind of flappiness towards the end. So I would, here it's great. I'll just overlap it a bit more, maybe till here. Bam, still not closed yet. Closes, snaps to close. Snaps to close. Then let it stick, stick onto the thing for a bit and then opens a tiny fraction for maybe another frame and then close. So we'll see how that looks. Do you feel it? I think it feels better with like a little bit more like a little bit of flappiness. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Also, I think you can break. I like how you broke this antenna up. Thing is, I think it just hits to a. It settles too fast because you know antennas. It goes boing. I think that you can. Here it's a good. It just stops here. I think it needs like maybe four, four more frames to finish off the settle. So just add some animation at the end here back and forth and then in a smaller frequency then you'll be good to go and also like when I watch the settle from this part onwards I think for yeah for most of your shot you've played with the rotation x y and z for the body but when we get to this section you see you just only play with the rotation X. So what I would do is, yeah, add some of that rotation Y and Z back there like you have in front of here. And you know, like uh, one thing like I learned that's like a kind of like a lazy man's way of getting started to do these settles or a fast way, then you can adjust it later. But so you have your, let's say your, ooh, terrible drawing, your X curve, Let's, actually, let's go with the colors. Say you have your X curve like that, right? And now we need to add 
the rotation Y and rotation Z. What I would do is whatever you have in this saddle part for that, for this, um, whatever the graph looks like, I'll copy this curve and paste it on rotation Y and rotation Z. But then I would offset them. So it's like that and that. Of course, this is like, this is a fast way to get some free, um, free overlap. And it might be too much. So you have to adjust accordingly. So you need to play around with it. But this is a quick way to make sure that your settles and your moves are all cohesive. Um, but it all makes sense. It all wiggles together. So yeah, I would usually, like if I need to do something quick, just to see how it feels, I'll do that. Then I'll scale, like let's say, Z down to you know this much. And then, you know, or maybe push Y, like push Y back to like here, but scale it down or something. Yeah, this is kind of messy, but you get, you get my drift. Um, that's a fast way to get like, to kind of feel out how your um, saddles are and your overlaps are, and then just adjust according to the feel. Just keep playing back, keep adjusting the keys. I also noticed, I nearly forgot to add, is the head because this is such a elastic it feels really elasticy head i feel like your settles can be bigger for the head instead of like you have the settle for the rotations and it's great the cells for the rotations are they feel good but maybe either you can try to amplify that up a bit but also get some translate get some translations in there because it gets stuck in the spot for the whole time if you look at it, look, after when it hits here, 50, stays there. I would move it, like I would shift it, shift it around a bit. So shift it left and right, up and down, just a little bit, settle it down a bit more. So and then it will just be like, it will be, it will be great. And then finally, if you have time, this is like, I'm not sure like what the rig is like, but um, I think that the wheels, I'm not sure if we can animate the wheels. I again, I love the lead and drag and everything, but everything seems animated but the wheels, right? So what I would do is just copy whatever you have in the graph editor for your body curve that's translating the rig forward and backwards, and copy that onto your uh, onto your wheels in the rotation, and then scale them until they feel right, until they feel like they're gripping the floor. Um, so it's really just like a copy and paste thing, scale, and then you would be able to get something that's, you know, that's pretty fast and accurate to how the, how the vehicle is moving. Um, also, like, like I would like, if, I, if you could, I would like if you really want to push this further, um, and there's also scales, like scale, uh, scale options in this rig. I would squ squash these wheels whenever it lands like, and stretch it. So for example, here, like this wheel is the last one to go up. I would stick these onto the floor. So when it comes up, you can really feel the, the stretch. Really feel the stretch. And then maybe even drag it a bit more. You know, get that cartoony feel that you have. And then when it lands, these ones make them like super fat. Like, you know, make them super flat. Oh. Well, let's erase that. Squash squash them. And see how and see how it feels. You know. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, I think this is, these are like polishing notes. I think this is a great, this is a great simple jumping shot to the point you executed it really well. And yeah, these are just some suggestions that can push it maybe to the, uh, to the next 5% of your shot, you know? So yeah, keep it up. Thanks again. Thanks again for participating. I uh, hope you found these useful and um, like, leave us some comments if you like 
if you have like if you want to ask us anything or just message us you know um, we're always here to help so yeah uh, thanks a lot see ya